The first category in the Australian Export Awards for 2019 is the International Education and Training Award. Presenting the award is Austrade's Chief Executive, Stephanie Fay. But first, here are the finalists. The finalists in the International Education and Training category are Australian Language Schools, Queensland. Charles Darwin University, Northern Territory. Engineering Institute of Technology, Western Australia. Macquarie University, New South Wales. The University of Adelaide, South Australia. University of Melbourne, Victoria. University of Tasmania, Wicking Dementia Research and Education Centre, Tasmania. So the winner of the International Education and Training Award is the University of Adelaide. In 2018, international students made up 29% of University of Adelaide's overall student body of 27,000. It plans to grow this to 40% by 2028 with an increased focus on regions such as Africa, the Americas, Latin America, Middle East and Oceania. So far, the university's open online courses have attracted 794,000 enrolments. Congratulations to the University of Adelaide. Wow. Um, I really didn't think this was going to happen. Um, I'd like to thank, uh, I mean, we're obviously, we're truly, truly delighted to receive this. We're in, it's an incredible room with incredible people doing incredible things. Thank you. Um, and uh, even in our category, I mean, there are people doing amazing things as well, so I'm not entirely sure what criteria was used to separate us, but. Uh, you know, we're very, very happy to, to receive the award. Um, I'm, my name is David Cannon, and I work for the Pro Vice Chancellor International, which is a portfolio within the University of Adelaide. Um, I think the award is a, um, it's a really important recognition of the importance of international education and international students that they're bringing into our economy and into our societies. It's not just the case of, of money and, and humans on seats. This is uh, part of our mandate as universities to make the world a better place. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the sponsors in Austrade. Whenever we go overseas and our vice chancellor travels often, our pro vice chancellors and our deputy vice chancellors, they do a lot of traveling all year round. The first thing we do is meet with Austrade and uh, I, part of my job is to write the briefs and it's very, very hard to find information on the people who work in Austrade. They're incredibly modest. They don't have a, a significant sort of footprint in social media, but they're always there to help us, and they've actually helped us to um, broach relationships with emerging markets. So we thank them very much. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm probably burned my two minutes already, but this is what, what we do. We always keep sight of the faculties and the researchers and the teachers who deliver our content. Um, without them, we're a kind of a strange institution, so we, we always recognize that, uh, you know, the admin, the, the growth side, numbers, it's, it always comes back to, to research and to, to educators and to teachers. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, do you have anything? I don't think we're necessarily anything to add. Thank you very much.